Big Ten boasts one of the largest and most loyal fan bases in college football, and for the first time in the 2009 season, Penn State was on the road, where they had to deal with fans and wind and rain at Memorial Stadium in Illinois. After suffering their first loss of the season, though, they would have gladly played in the parking lot. Williams loves to run, and Penn State loves to hit. Clark under center on third and a yard and a half. Clark takes the snap, short drop, looks, he throws, and incomplete for Moy. So three and out for Penn State, and Jeremy Boone will kick. Snaps on the money, and the kick by Boone is out of there. A high twisting punt, Faison lets it go over his head, hits at the 17, to the 10, to the 5. Can they get to it? Yes, they will. They'll down it at the three-yard line. What a shot by Jeremy Boone, who unloads for 66 yards. Talk about turning the field over. Pitch at the 4th to 30, cuts it up, hit and dropped on the edge that time by Suke. Earlier in the week, head coach Joe Paterno said he wanted to see what kind of fighters he had, how they would react after getting licked by Iowa. Well, the Nittany Lion defense came out with fire in their bellies and kept the game scoreless until the offense started to roll in the second quarter. Quarterback Daryl Clark was at or near the top of many Big Ten passing categories, and just as he started to pick apart the Illini through the air, some great play calling produced the game's first score on the ground. Green follows Eliadis. Clark, 50, 45, 40, there goes Green, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Penn State! A 52-yard run for Stephon Green and Lou Eliadis with a big block at the point of attack. We have been waiting to showcase Green on a play like this to show people what kind of speed he has. As usual, Penn State traveled well, and the Nittany Lion fans watched as Juice Williams hit the one big offensive play the Lion I had in the first half. Aurelius Ben caught a 49-yard pass all the way to the Penn State 8-yard line. But the Nittany Lion defense grew very protective of their last few yards of turf. Quarterback draw to the five and taken down by Navarro Bowman at the line of scrimmage. Play action, rolls right, being chased, looks in the end zone, he fires and slips it off the turf and completed the goal line. Crawford got up the field, did not take the play fake, contained Juice Williams, and made him throw a bad throw in the middle of the field. Kick is up and the kick by Eller is good, and Illinois is on the board. One of Clark's favorite targets in the half was tight end Andrew Corliss, who by the break had a career-high five catches. But Penn State's passing attack had piled up some big numbers already through the first month of the season. Now the Lions were also running well, and the mix would be lethal to Illinois. Clark, back to pass, steps up, throws, cuts on 45, 40 inside the 40, and Jack, they have found that rhythm in this oh, offense. Oh, they have, and also the offensive line giving Clark great protection in a pocket. At the last second, he just kind of steps up and delivers the football. Play action, Clark sets. He throws downfield, slipping and making the catch. It's an incomplete. No, incomplete. Could not hold on. The officials ruled Graham Zug did not catch the ball, and on third down, Clark and Corliss couldn't connect, and the promising drive would stall. But Jeremy Boone was ready to work his magic with the field position again. Boone with the left foot kicks it out of there. A high floater. Faison runs away, hits at the one-yard line, and down at the one-yard line. Out of the end zone, he wants to throw it long and deep over the middle. He's got his man default at the 21 in the first down. They get out of jail right away. What an impressive drive that started at the Illinois 1. And it would get as far as the Penn State 23. But again, the defense came up with a means to turn Illinois away. Back to pass. Foot's coming. In trouble. Crawford hits him, and he throws it away incomplete. And that's got to be intentional It has to be intentional grounding, and there's the flag. And that takes Eller out of field goal range. Fourth down and 30. Back goes Williams to load it up on the final play of the half. Fires it downfield. Everybody's there. He goes for Cumberland. It's knocked away and intercepted. Stefan Morris had the pick and made for an interesting end to the half, returning it 70 yards and nearly breaking it. Penn State was called for an illegal block on the return, but the important thing was they took the lead to the locker room. When the third quarter started, Penn State was ready to take over the line of scrimmage and the football game. The defense continued to make life difficult for quarterback Juice Williams. They smothered Illinois, allowing only eight yards and no first downs in the third quarter. And the offense, which had come close to sparking in the first half, was about to catch fire in the second. Clark in the gun, gets the snap, 
Clark, quarterback draw. First down, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. Clark to the 35, 30, 25, 20. First down, Nittany Lions. One of the biggest plays of the game, and it's a running play from Clark. A gain of 49, what a great play call against the Blitz. Yeah, and I think that offensive line at Penn State starting to get their pads set a little bit. Green to the five. Green stood up, but still pounds it inside the five. Clark in the center. Quarterback sneak reaches out the football. Touchdown, Penn State. The Nittany Lions cap a 69-yard drive. After a three and out, Penn State had the ball back and they were ready to plow their way through one of the most dominating quarters they've ever played. With a great mix of play calling by the coaches and execution by the players, they kept Illinois guessing and off balance. The Lions' young offensive line was starting to gel. Another well-designed play. Penn State, right now the play calling has that rhythm. Everything that Illinois does, Penn State has dialed up the right play for. It. Illinois defensively has no containment at all, especially on that left defensive side. And Penn State has made a living running the football. Quarterback sneak, touchdown, Penn State! Clark's second touchdown came on the second play of the fourth quarter. And the Nittany Lions weren't finished yet. They would score four second half touchdowns and perhaps most impressive, ran up 338 rushing yards. Gain of 18 and everything working for Penn State. They give it to Royster, Royster 15, Royster far side 10, Royster to the five, far corner, touchdown Penn State. The Nittany Lions cap another long drive and now have total control of the game. Back goes Juice, steps up, in trouble, fumbles the football and Penn State recovers. Knocked away from Williams, Penn State football. Recovered by Jack Crawford, Sean Stanley, number 90, swatted it off of the hand of Juice Williams. Carter again, following oh, Troutman to the 10, to the far corner, to the 5. Touchdown, Brett Carter. Well, they're making a statement on the road here today, aren't they? Well, they still have the Big Ten Championship right in front of them and a trip to the Rose Bowl. It might be a little early to be thinking about that, but it's certainly not too late to get the running game in prime form.